morning, my friend. This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a guest on the line. His name is Bob Lancer, and he's a, a coach. You there, Bob? I'm here. I'm here. Yay. I'm here, I'm here to coach. You're, you're down in the southern part of town. You're like south of us. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and you said you're down near Atlanta? Yeah, I'm near Atlanta, Georgia, though. You probably can't tell by my voice. No, you're not, I, not from around there? I probably still have some Brooklyn, New York in me. So Okay, from the East Coast. Oh, yes. The guys with the attitude. The guys with the attitude. That's right. You know, I love the East Coast because they say what they're going to do and they do it. In the Midwest, they never make a freaking decision. And then out West, they say what they're going to do, but then they don't really do that. Or well, out, you know, out in California. You got to be careful about those stereotypes. I think people are pretty much the same everywhere. <laughs> That's true. But I mean, just generally speaking, and yeah, I like to I ruffle know. a few feathers. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of New Yorkers who don't follow through. Well, <laughs> I suppose being there, you're in the trenches. Yeah. So I like to do these uh, fairly short and just get to know who you are and what you do. So you you married, you got kids, all that kind of stuff. What's what's I'm going on? Boston, there? I have two children. I have a 15 year old and a nine year old, and I'm with them about 50 percent of the time. And it was actually going through that divorce that really led me to the most profound breakthrough. Uh, in my life, you know, it's amazing how we have to go through the darkness to get to brighter light. Very People true. People hung up on the choices that they're going to make. Everybody thinks that they can make this choice and they're going to be happily ever after. But you know, whatever choice you make in life, it's going to lead you to your biggest tests and trials. No matter what you do, you're going to have to face whatever weaknesses are inside of you, so you can <laughs> outgrow them. Very true. I'm. My wife is a coach. She does uh, more spiritual coaching and life coaching. She used to do business coaching, but she just doesn't like dealing with the businessy end of stuff. But uh, I'm a, I'm looking for a coach right now, but I want someone that's local that I can actually meet locally here. But I'm an advocate in that I think coaches end up getting to see what you don't see. You know what I mean? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it, it's two things. Number one, 95% of my coaching is done on the phone, mm -hmm. which is extremely effective. And the other thing, what do you need a coach for? The kind of what, what a, a coach is guides you through the changes you need to go through. So we need more than just someone to talk to and more than someone who just gives us answers. We need someone who can actually provide us with the continuous guidance we need to make the changes we know are right for us, the changes in our thoughts, the changes in our feelings, the changes in our attitudes. You know, the reason why I do what I do is for one simple reason. I love it. And I do what I love because this is what I'm best at and this is what my passion is. And I've been doing this for 30 years. And I am definitely evidence that living a life of true balance, which means that your central point of leverage is doing what you love on a consistent basis, that you know how to be guided by your own internal sense of what brings you joy. But Got that it. is your basic pivotal point. Everything else falls into place. And so that's what I help people to do. I help people to release themselves from the blockage that prevents them from living a life of true joy, which automatically brings success, abundance, companionship, well-being, and everything else you might desire. You know, I can tell you're good at what you do because you kind of jumped ahead to the point of the my, my favorite question at the end is the why question. You kind of already answered it. You like to help people. And that's kind of what this whole thing is really all about, even whether it be business or whatever. You know, If you're running a business and you're not happy with it, your relationship's probably going to fail. And if you're not healthy, your relationship and your business might fail. So it, it, you're talking about like a well-rounded hub of... Uh... Well, yeah, but, and, and it's really simple. It's a very simple process because it's not just that I love to help people. It's how I love to help people. I love to help people through coaching. I'm also a speaker, an inspirational mm -hmm. speaker, and I'm also an author. I've written many books and I publish articles all the time. So writing, speaking, and coaching... It's not just my forte, it's my love, it's my passion, it's my Got it. destiny, the dharma. And when you're able to connect with who you really are and live that authentically, you can't leave balance. That right. determines balance and everything else works out from there. Like they say, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life kind of thing. If you really know how to do what you love, which yeah. means really stay focused, you have to very much be in the present moment to recognize how you're sabotaging yourself you release yourself from those blockages. And so the coaching that I do helps people through that. And again, as I said, it's 95% over the phone. I rarely meet with anybody. Do, do you actually work with a coach yourself? I have been coached through the breakthroughs that I needed. Yeah, because I, I think it's important because sometimes our, our, uh, our ego protects us and doesn't let us get outside 
and you need someone to kind of help you, like you said, kind of give you guidance to oh, take absolutely. that next step. I, I went through, a, 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 you know, I've been doing this for, for my whole life, but when I went through that divorce, it was like everything just came crashing down inside of me. I completely <laughs> fell apart. Didn't understand why, because all the stuff that I'd been doing, I've coached people through that process in, in their own lives. But for some reason, it touched on some traumatic point within me, and I just completely fell apart. As I continued to search, I did find the coach. I found someone who gave me this breakthrough process that I call the method, which releases you from trauma, releases you from those emotional, negative emotional patterns. You know, there's a lot of focus out there on being positive and visualizing what you want, but what's left out in those processes is how to uproot from these negative psychological patterns that bring us pain right. and keep us dark. The method that I guide people through over the phone releases them from that process releases the blocks to their joy. Yeah, because there's the grass probably is green on the other side, but you got to have the courage to actually step out onto that green grass. And sometimes it's comfortable to stay in your little spot, right? And you need that kind of coaching to kind of ease people into the, the as, promised as land. Wisdom, as, <laughs> as one of my wisdom teachers used to say, at the end of every rainbow is a pot of gold. At the beginning of every rainbow is a pot of something else. you got to eat that something else to get to the gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or he used to say, manure smells like hell, but it makes the flowers grow. And so yes, one of the things we have to understand is that it's our willingness, understanding, and, and, and skill in facing the darkness within us. The darkness is the portal to greater light. If you're willing to open up to your pain, open up to your fears, open up to your insecurities, allow yourself to feel those completely, that brings up the darkness, but it brings it up into the light of consciousness. And then we can go through a process of releasing that. And then you find more light, more liberation, more joy, more intuition. Love it. I love your talking. You're, we're on the same vibe, I think. Oh, yeah. We're <laughs> say, say the, um, do you have, like you said, you wrote some books. You got a, re, re, a recent book or you got one? Was... I would say the book that pertains most to what I'm talking about these days is the book I put out a few years ago called Lighten Up, How to Harness the Power of Happiness to Create the Life You Want. You can get that from Amazon for probably a dollar. Like I also enough. wrote a book for parents called Parenting with Love Without Anger or Stress. I do a lot of parent coaching. I do a lot of coaching for teachers as well. To That's help good. Them to release their passion. That's good. Um, I think parenting, I'm not a parent myself. My wife has one, but uh, you don't get the, the owner's manual when you have a kid, and it's always different, isn't it? So it's nice to. Yeah, one now, it's called Parenting with Love Without Anger yeah. or Stress. But what I like to say to the parents is God sends a difficult child into your life when it's time for you to grow. Yeah, and I think it's very, very helpful that you're kind of nipping it in the bud early on because I came from uh, like alcoholic parents and I had to work through that. I don't drink at all myself. I had to break out of that 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 cycle. But um, as a kid, I didn't get a lot of the love. And I've got a best friend that he got a lot of love out of his and his life is totally different than mine. We're do, both doing okay, but totally different because of that embracing yeah, and first, that lovingness. Yeah, the first six years of life, whatever the child's mind is exposed to, forms that child's right. pattern. And so all of our self-sabotaging patterns were learned based on the modeling we received. One of the biggest impacts of, of child development, which becomes our personal human development, is the quality of relationship between our parents. Because whether we saw that or not, we were still impacted by the dynamic of that. And that yep. prepared us for how to relate to ourselves, to our lives, and to other people. So the method that I guide people through often, if there's any negative emotional experience you're having is a learned pattern that you picked up from somebody and we we go back and method only takes 15 20 minutes over the phone and by the way anybody who mentions your show who would like a free uh demonstration over the phone with me i'd be happy to do that for we, them. we are on the same exact vibe that was my next question i was going to ask you if there's a way that people can get in and you got like an intro course or something like that is there a web domain that you could share that they can get to yeah. Absolutely. You can go to lovethemethod.com, L-O-V-E-T-H-E, lovethemethod, M-E-T-H-O-D.com. Um, check it out. Look at, look at what it's about because it's an amazing breakthrough. It's something that I discovered that I feel was given to me for the sake of humanity. I work with veterans. I work with, 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 with addicts. I work with extremely successful people who are still dealing with a lot of emotional stress. So I work with all levels of society, all backgrounds. The method is a way to release your joy that's been trapped in these patterns of emotional pain. And it's amazingly effective, and uh, it, my, my practice is booming. Very cool. 
Yep. Well, I don't like to do these too long because we've got that commodity of time and people have got things that they got to do. This is just an introduction. But later on, if you want, I, I uh, connected with you on Facebook. We can stay in contact if you've got something specific you want to launch and let people know about. We can do this again. And okay. uh, what I'm going to do is record this and beam it up to the universe and propagate it out. And if you do the same synergistically, much appreciate it. And if you want to... If you want to stay on, we can chat a little bit further, but I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can, as they say, and beam it up to the universe. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you, Bob.